user interface and setting up the grid and snapping to the grid. So I, I, I prefer not to have my grid showing. But uh, if you'd like to use the grid, you can, uh, while you're in uh, nesting mode up here, uh, you can um, show the grid here. And these are your grid options. So let's go to grid options first. And this is where you would set your grid size. So I have mine set to an eighth of an inch. And now we can show the grid as dots. If we, if we uh, don't check that, it's going to show the grid as lines. And sometimes dots are a little less confusing. These are your bump increments. Uh, honestly, I've never used that. So uh, there is a, a way to um, using uh, a keyboard stroke to bump apart. Let's go ahead and, ahead and hit OK. And then we'll right click again. And we're going to say uh, show grid. So there's my grid. And each, each square represents an eighth of an inch. Now again, if we go back to grid options and click on show as dots, uh, they show as small dots, which is li a little bit less confusing. Now if I right click again, I can say snap to grid. And now my part is going to snap to the grid. I prefer not to snap to, to the grid, so we'll turn that back off. Uh, this right here, show f uh, full tool paths. Uh, what we're seeing right now is we see uh, the rapids. The blue is a rapid. The green is your uh, blue is rapid. Green is your uh, tool path, and the white is your part outline. So here you can see that we offset to the outside, on the outside of the part, the inside on the holes, and the blue is our rapid move. So if we go ahead and uncheck full tool paths, the rapids go away and uh, the green tool path uh, notation goes away. I, I don't recommend that. Let's leave that checked. Now the measure option is going to allow you to measure a part. And it, it's not uh, nearly as accurate as, say, a CAD measure tool or drafting tool. But it does give you the option of looking at uh, the size of a part uh, roughly. So let's say we, we're going to click here. We're going to click over here. Like that. And we can see down at the bottom our part length is about 18 inches. <coughs> If we were to click, say, here, here, measure, go to measure, we're going to click here and go up to here. We can see we're about three and a half inches by about 18 and we know from drawing this part that that's that's about right so it's a good way to kind of get a reality check on the, the size of a part you know we can use use the same method to check the size of a hole you know not not cat accurate but accurate enough to where you can get a pretty good idea That's about it for, uh, the, you know, the, the, this is everything under the left click menu for the, uh, uh, for the nesting button. So we'll see you in the next video.